जून सेवेंथ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी करंट अफेयर्स क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स वन अकॉर्डिंग टू दी फॉर्ब्स वन हंड्रेड वर्ल्ड हाइस्ट पेड सेलिब्रिटीज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वॉट इज द रैंक ऑफ बॉलीवुड एक्टर अक्षय कुमार आंसर फिफ्टी सेकेंड एक्सप्लेनेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू दी फॉर्ब्स वन हंड्रेड वर्ल्ड हाइस्ट पेड सेलिब्रिटीज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी Bollywood actor Akshay Kumar ranked 52nd with estimated earnings of 48.5 million United States dollars and is the only Indian featured on the list. The list is topped by 22 years old Kylie Jenner, model who earned 590 million United States dollars and also topped in the women category. followed by 42 years old american rapper kanye west second 170 million united states dollars 38 years old tennis player roger federer third rank 106 million united states dollars and 35 years old football cristiano ronaldo fourth rank 105 million united states dollars 2 What is Indian Institute of Science rank in the Times Higher Education Asia University ranking? Answer 36th. Explanation. In the Times Higher Education Asia University ranking launched on the 4th of June 2020. Indian became the third most represented country with eight institutes in the top 100. Indian Institute of Science with 36th position on the list retains its top position in India. 3. Which bank has launched a special campaign Summer Treats with offers to meet the changing needs of merchants as well as salaried and self-employed customers? Answer HDFC Bank. Explanation. HDFC Bank. A Mumbai-based private sector bank has launched a special campaign, Summer Treats, with offers to meet the changing needs of merchants as well as salaried and self-employed customers. Four, who has launched the UNDP National Awareness Campaign on Prevention of Human and Animal Mortality on Highways on the 5th of June? Answer: Nitin Gadkari. Explanation. Union Minister for Road Transport and Highways and MSME Nitin Gadkari has launched the UNDP National Awareness Campaign on Prevention of Human and Animal Mortality on Highways on the 5th of June. The campaign aims to generate awareness and education for the masses at large towards reducing or eliminating mortality on the roads of both human beings and animals. 5 The virtual Global Vaccine Summit 2020 was hosted by which country's Prime Minister? Answer: UK. Explanation: The virtual Global Vaccine Summit 2020 was hosted by UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson from London in which business leaders, UN agencies, civil society, government ministers. Heads of state and country leaders participated from over 50 countries. Global Vaccine Summit, organized by the Global Alliance for Vaccines and Immunization (GAVI). Six. Who has been appointed as the chairman of Commodity Derivatives Advisory Committee by Securities and Exchange Board of India? Answer: Ashok Dalwani. Explanation. Securities and Exchange Board of India (SEBI) rearranged the Commodity Derivatives Advisory Committee and appointed Ashok Dalwani, retired IAS officer, as the chairman, and Alaskar S. Mithwani, chief general manager of SEBI, as secretary of the 17-member committee. Seven, Union Minister of Power K. Singh launched which initiative for building an energy resilient future on the 5th of June 2020? Answer: #icomet. Explanation: Union Minister of Power K. Singh launched the #icomet initiative for building an energy resilient future on the 5th of June 2020.
A campaign was also launched to encourage all stakeholders and individuals to continue moving towards energy efficiency. 8. Who has been appointed as senior advisor to the executive director? World Bank. Answer, Rajiv Topno. Explanation. Cabinet's appointment committee approved the appointments of Rajiv Topno. The private secretary to the Prime Minister as senior advisor to the executive director. World Bank and Brijendra Navneet. The joint secretary in the Prime Minister's office, July 2014-September 2019, as ambassador and permanent representative of India to the World Trade Organization and will be posted at the permanent mission of India to the WTO. Under the Department of Commerce. He replaced J.S. Deepak at the PMI whose two-year extended term ended on May 31. 9. A survey released by the Reserve Bank has showed that Indian economy may contract by how much percent in FY21? Answer, 1.5%. Explanation. A survey released by the Reserve Bank has showed that Indian economy may contract by 1.5% in FY21 though the next fiscal is expected to be much better. 10. Which institute has discovered that a low-cost and efficient way to generate hydrogen from water using molybdenum dioxide as a catalyst? Answer, Center for Nano and Soft Matter Sciences. Explanation. Center for Nano and Soft Matter Sciences scientist has discovered that a low-cost and efficient way to generate hydrogen from water using molybdenum dioxide as a catalyst. They have found that molybdenum dioxide nanomaterials annealed in hydrogen atmosphere can act as efficient catalysts. Using this. Hydrogen can be generated from water and produces water on energy generation without any carbon footprint. 11. The first India-Australia Virtual Leaders Summit was held between Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Australian Prime Minister. Who is current Australian Prime Minister? Answer, Scott Morrison. Explanation. The first India-Australia Virtual Leaders Summit was held between Indian Prime Minister, PM, Narendra Modi and his Australian counterpart Scott Morrison. The focus of the meet was to further strengthen the bilateral ties in areas like healthcare, trade and defence. 12. In accordance with the annual periodic labour force survey for July 2018-June 2019, of NSO. Most p. India's unemployment rate fell between July 2018 and June 2019 to what percent from 6.1% during the same period of 2017-18? Answer, 5.8%. Explanation. In accordance with the annual periodic labor force survey for July 2018-June 2019, of National Statistical Office. Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation India's unemployment rate fell between July 2018 and June 2019 to 5.8% from 6.1% during the same period of 2017-18 while the Indian economy grew 6.1% in 2018-19. Slower than the 7% expansion recorded the year before. This is the second annual report being brought out by NSO on the basis of PLFS. 13. Wade Marwa, 87 years old, passed away on 5 June 2020. He was former police commissioner of which state, UT? Answer, Delhi. Explanation. Former Delhi police commissioner Wade Marwa passed away on 5 June 2020. He was 87 years old. The former governor of Mizoram, Manipur, and Jharkhand also served as the Director General of the National Security Guard, NSG, and as an advisor to governors in J and K and Bihar. 
14, which Abu Dhabi-based company is all set to buy 1.85% stake in Geo platforms. A wholly owned subsidiary of Reliance Industries. For 9,093.60 crore rupees. Answer Mubadala. Explanation. The Abu Dhabi based sovereign investor. Mubadala is all set to buy 1.85% stake in Geo Platforms. A wholly owned subsidiary of Reliance Industries. For 9,093.60 crore rupees. The investment from Mubadala comes in Geo Platforms at an equity value of 4.91 lakh rupees crore and an enterprise value of 5.16 lakh rupees crore. 15. Who has been nominated for the Rajiv Gandhi Keel Ratna Award by the Boxing Federation of India? Answer Amit Pangal. Explanation. World silver medalist and Indian boxer Amit Pangal and Vikas Krishan were nominated for the Rajiv Gandhi Keel Ratna Award by the Boxing Federation of India. 16. Center approves the three-month extension, August 1, October 31, of K. Shanmugam Chief Secretary of which state? Answer Tamil Nadu. Explanation. Center approves the three-month extension, August 1, October 31st, of Tamil Nadu Chief Secretary K. Shanmugam. A 1985 batch Indian Administrative Service, IAS officer who assumed charge on June 30, 2019. After the retirement of incumbent Girija Vadyanathan. K. Shanmugam was to retire from service on July 31, 2020. 17. The President of India has promulgated the two ordinances namely the Farmers' Produce Trade and Commerce Ordinance 2020 and the Farmers' Agreement on Price Assurance and Farm Services Ordinance 2020. Who is current President of India? Answer, Ram Nath Kovind. Explanation. The President of India Ram Nath Kovind has promulgated the two ordinances namely the Farmers Produce Trade and Commerce Promotion and Facilitation, Ordinance 2020 and the Farmers, Empowerment and Protection, Agreement on Price Assurance and Farm Services Ordinance 2020. The move comes after the announcement of the landmark decisions by the Government of India for reforms in the agricultural sector for raising the income of the farmers as part of the Atmanirbhar Bharat Abhiyan. 18. In order to encourage the deployment of points of sale infrastructure in smaller cities and towns. RBI has initiated with how much payments infrastructure development fund. Answer, 500 rupees crore. Explanation. In order to encourage the deployment of points of sale infrastructure in smaller cities and towns. The Reserve Bank of India has initiated with 500 rupees crore payments infrastructure development fund PIDF with an initial contribution of 250 crore rupees. The remaining amount will be contributed by card issuing banks and card networks working in the country. 19. India and China held high level talks on 6 June amid the border standoff between the militaries of the two countries near eastern Ladakh. Who led the Indian delegation? Answer LT General Harinder Singh. Explanation. India and China held high-level talks on 6 June. The talk was initiated by India and was held at the border personnel meeting point in Moldo on the Chinese side of the line of actual control, lack, in eastern Ladakh. The talks were held amid the border standoff between the militaries of the two countries near eastern Ladakh. The Indian delegation was led by LT General Harinder Singh, the general officer commanding of Leh-based 14 Corps, while the Chinese side was headed by the commander of the Tibet Military District. 20. 
the 51st annual WEF Davos meeting by the World Economic Forum will be held in which month? Answer, January 2021. Explanation. The 51st annual WEF Davos meeting to be held in January 2021 by the World Economic Forum, WEF. WEF to adopt a new twin summit format by bringing together leaders from across the globe for an in-person and well as virtual dialogues with the theme, The Great Reset.